Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. As you know, Blender 4.2 has been released with many new features. The most significant changes have been made to the EV Render Engine. In this tutorial, we'll cover the new EV features. Let's get started. As you know, in Blender 4.1 and earlier versions, when selecting an HDRI image for lighting in the EV Render Engine, the shadows of objects in the scene did not appear. With the release of Blender 4.2, environment textures will now be able to cast shadows. Let's see how it works. Open any scene in the Blender 4.2 version. Press Z key to switch to Render Preview mode. Go to the World Properties tab, click the Color node, and select Environment Texture. Click the Open button and choose any HDRI image. As you can see, the objects in the scene cast a shadow. Because we use Cycle's Render Engine, click the Render Properties tab and switch the Render Engine to Eevee. As you can see, the environment texture doesn't cast a shadow. Go to the World Properties tab, open up the Settings panel and enable the Shadow option. That's it. Another cool new feature in Blender 4.2 Eevee is that we don't need to bake indirect lighting. Indirect lighting is the light that bounces off surfaces, illuminating other areas, and creating a more realistic look. In Blender 4.1 and earlier versions, we had to bake to capture indirect lighting. Let's select the red cube and make it closer to the sphere. In a realistic render, the light rays bouncing off the cube should create a red illumination on the side surface of the sphere. Now it's very easy to do this in Blender 4.2 EV. Just go to the Render Properties tab and enable the Ray Tracing option. That's it, now we can see the indirect lighting on the sphere surface. If you noticed, we can also see the object reflections on the floor. In Blender 4.1 and earlier versions, we enabled screen space reflections to view reflections. We can't see the screen space reflections here anymore. Go to the World Properties tab and lower the environment lighting strength. Select the monkey head. Go to the Material tab. Open up the Emission panel and make the monkey emissive object. As you can see, it illuminates other surfaces. Emissive objects also spread indirect lighting. In Blender 4.1 and earlier versions, we had to bake this indirect lighting. Now we don't need to bake. Moreover, we can see the indirect lighting in real time. That's a super new feature. Another change is in the Bloom option in Eevee. In the previous versions, we enabled the Bloom option to make a glow object. In Blender 4.2, we will make it with the Glare node in the Compositing workspace. Switch the Timeline Editor to the Compositor. Enable the Use node option. Press Shift-A and add a Glare node. Go to the Viewport Shading menu and switch the Compositor to Always. Switch the Glare type to Bloom and adjust the Glare size. That's it. All right. Another cool new feature is that Eevee now supports displacement maps. Select the floor and switch to the shader editor. Select the principled shader and press shift Control t to add all texture maps. The displacement map is connected to the material output but it doesn't displace the geometry physically. First, we need to have enough geometry to work with. Add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the vertex number. Switch to simple mode and increase the subdivision level. Go to the Material Properties tab. In the Settings panel, switch to Displacement and Bump. When we increase the scale value of the displacement vector, it will displace the geometry. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.